This is an exciting night for us. This, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, is the first time we've ever had three chairs out here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Can you remember a time, Paul, when we had the three? I was trying to think earlier. I can't think of it. <laughs> first time. It is. Well, I, I, I for one, am uh, mighty excited. Uh, there's a reason for us having three chairs out here, and I'm going to tell you what it is right now. Hi, and welcome to the show. Uh, the 1980 movie Airplane was one of the spectacular successes ever to come out of Hollywood, California, uh, which is just west of Arizona. It was conceived, written, and directed by three young men from Milwaukee, which I guess is just west of, uh, of uh, where is it? It's just west of uh, Lake Michigan, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, these gentlemen defied the experts and made a film uh, that is already grossed. Now listen to this, $170 million. Please welcome the trio of satirists, Jim Abrams, David Zucker, and his brother, Jerry Zucker. You have those little things on your face, yeah, don't you? Yeah, we go to the same doctor. Yeah, nice, uh, nice of you gentlemen to be here. <laughs> nice of you to have us here. Thank, yeah, you, thank you very much. And it's great to be back. Yeah, no, you've never been here before. No, it's a new yeah. show. Yeah, it's nice of, nice of you to be here. Well, now, you have a little, uh, that's not an actual mustache, is it? <laughs> I guess you blew the joke. <laughs> oh, there's a joke connected? That was going to be a big joke, but uh, <laughs> that's, those aren't actual sores either. Oh, they are? Yeah, they're yeah. yeah. fake didn't really have yeah. this. Is, this is just not, yeah. This well, is, you, you yeah. demonstrated... This is a phony nose. <laughs> this is a phony nose, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> you demonstrated remarkable courage coming away. out here with those a second time. <laughs> uh, let's talk about your motion picture. $170 million. Can this be true? It, yes, it is true. But uh, the, the, the studio keeps most of that. So, I mean, we by the time it filters down to us, it, it's no more than five or six million <laughs> it's, I mean, it's not what people think. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, not it's, like you're wealthy yeah. beyond your wildest dreams, <laughs> <Yeah>. then, huh? <laughs> was, the, was the idea for this motion picture a well-planned, well-thought-out uh, uh, vehicle or something that uh, more accidental in nature? It was completely by accident, and Jerry will explain why it was. <laughs> it okay. was just, it, we just happened to be there at the studio, and there it was, and so we filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> You, we were we were we are the luckiest three guys that uh, just to have that work that. out. And we were all watched a, a movie on late night television called Zero Hour, and that actually was lucky because it was essentially a well at least a very similar plot to what Airplane uh, is. And we thought, gee, but it was a real serious flying movie, and we thought this this is funny as it is, and mm -hmm. if we just do a little bit of writing, we can make it uh, uh, into an actual comedy, and so we, we did that. So it was, a, it was a solid grade B movie, Zero yes, Hour? Yes, solid yes, solid B. Yeah, and, no. and now did you have to pay for the rights to that? Yes, yes, we paid. So you actually purchased the movie? We actually, now, yeah. now this thing, $170 million, can I ask what it cost to produce? Yes. Yes, you can ask that. <laughs> All right. Can either, any of you gentlemen tell me about what it cost to produce this movie? The budget, the budget was $3.5 million. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good heavens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. See, what would that be in New York? Twenty-six million dollars. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Uh, what did you, what had you done prior to this, this motion picture airplane? Well, well I think we were out look, for dinner and yeah. Jim was a private investigator and I was a uh, construction expediter and Jerry was but a, enough, a student teacher. But enough about us. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happens that, that uh, when, we, when we cast Airplane, we had a particular actor in mind to play the lead in, in Airplane. This is, this is the truth. And we actually screen te tested that actor. And that actor is with us tonight, sitting on our left. Is his first name Klaus? <laughs> <laughs> and coincidentally, we brought the screen. Now, I know, I know this is going to be fun for everybody but me. Uh, 
But before we do this, we're going to pause and we'll be oh, right okay. back and maybe we'll have time to take a look at this. Welcome back. Uh, Jim Abrams and uh, Jerry Zucker and David Zucker are now with us and we were discussing uh, the motion picture airplane which made so much money, but you, you're now involved with another project. Is that correct? Yes, yes. but enough about us. <laughs> <laughs> we actually brought with us the screen test. <laughs> the screen test of David Letterman. Right. Let me, for airplane. Yeah, now let me, uh, just before... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, before we get into this, and I guess there's no way to prevent this, no, I, no, this, is, <laughs> this is a bit of a film that I have not seen, mm. and it was made w when? <clears throat> this is the usual disclaimer, I assume. I have not seen this, and I had uh, no real interest in seeing it. Um, <laughs> I guess it's obvious that I didn't get the part. <laughs> um, it was close, huh? Yes. It was, it was a photo finish. It was, um, this it was done was in 1979. 79. Yeah. And this is me testing for this? For the role. Yes. For the lead role in Airplane. All right. Uh, and I guess we have that? That's, I guess that's that here. And we could, okay. It's a big surprise. Okay. I have not seen this. I'm not eager to see this. We'll have fun. Ted? You got a telegram this morning from headquarters. headquarters. Headquarters? What is it? It's a big building where the officers meet. But that's not important right now. You're taking all the blame for what happened on that raid was a pretty courageous thing to do. Was it? Because of my mistake, six men didn't come back from that raid. S seven. Lieutenant Zip died this morning. <laughs> but Dr. Chandler says you'll be out in a week. Isn't that wonderful? I wish I could say the same thing for George Zip. Ted, be patient. No one expects you to get over this immediately. I found a wonderful little apartment for us. It has a brick fireplace and a cute little bedroom with mirrors on the ceiling. Oh. What's wrong with him? It's Lieutenant Hurwitz, severe shell shock. He thinks he's Ethel Merman. You'll be swell. You'll be great. Gonna have the whole world. You know, maybe, maybe if I'd have gotten the part, that movie would have made some money. <laughs> uh, all right, enough of that nonsense. Let's, uh, uh, this is an unbelievable success. Now, before the film, again, you actually participated in another movie project that was also quite successful, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, called Kentucky Fried Movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was, that what was, was that? Back to yeah. your screen test. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, I think there's a lot of potential there. In the screen test. In the, yeah. yeah. Well, what's, your, what's your reaction? You it was it? embarrassing. It was, it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I know that the screen test took about eight hours, and what we saw there was about 30 seconds, mm -hmm. and so I'm assuming that there's seven hours and 30 seconds of really embarrassing <laughs> stuff. <somewhere. laughs> your, your agent, the only thing I really remember about that day is that your agent, who was on the set and hovering around at the time, I, it was, he was there, and I came up to him, somewhere, you know, three quarters of the way through, and I said, uh, you know, I think David's gonna be a great actor. And your agent just looked at me and said, fat chance. Always going to bat for you. That's yeah. just the, the one person who's supposed to represent you, and it was <laughs> live for you if necessary. It was You're... very interesting, because as I recall, uh, and this is such a stupid story, but I'll tell my side of it. Uh, <laughs> You said, why don't, uh, why don't you screen test for it? And I said, I just don't act. And you said, no, no, screen test. And you were both mm -hmm. very nice. And Howard Koch was there, and everybody was very nice. And I said, I don't want to do it. And they said, just try it. And I said, I don't act. And then a couple of days after it was completed, you called back and said, you were right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was very nice of you, nonetheless. Uh, now, now, this movie was unusual in that you actually took it around to various colleges and tested it before the final version aired or was released, huh? Which, which one? Uh, <laughs> which colleague? Airplane. No, airplane, which airplane yeah. yeah. The airplane. topic is oh, airplane yes. now, yeah. yeah. We, we tested it in front of uh, about six or seven colleges and to see what was funny and what wasn't, and we just cut out anything that wasn't funny. What seemed Hopefully. to be the single biggest laugh getter in the film? Not counting the screen test? <laughs> <laughs> yes, without the screen test. There was some, there was some stuff that hit a fan. Uh-huh. That got a big laugh. Yeah. Do you gentlemen have a favorite part of the film? Yeah, I, I personally, I don't know how these guys feel, but I, I love to, uh, to read the profit statements. <laughs> yes. Anything else? Yeah. 
Okay, we'll let him think that one over. Uh, Can we have a minute on that? Sure, we'll give you a minute. We're going to pause here uh, in this excitement. We'll be right back uh, in a minute or two. Now, uh, did you gentlemen uh, take turns directing this thing? Did you direct it um, as a trio, or how did that work? Well, well, the thing in is, order for three guys to actually be right, because they're all down, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise it would become very confusing. Yeah, yeah, it would be, would be tough. I can <laughs> certainly, certainly see that. Yeah. Uh, now, you've got another pro Oh, now, wait a minute. There's a sequel to this motion picture, correct? Are you involved with that, Airplane 2? Unfortunately, there is a sequel, and no, no we're, we're not involved. You we say unfortunately. To... Yeah, well, <laughs> no, it might be fortunate. It won't be for us. I mean, we have nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. we, we don't... Uh, someone else is writing and directing it, and we have no um, creative input or... Um, profit participation. Now how can that happen that, uh, that you do the original but are not involved in the sequel? Well it turns out that w when you make a, a, a deal to make a movie, what we were primarily interested in when we made Airplane was the ability to, to direct it and control it and after that we really paid not a great deal of attention to all these ancillary rights and whatnot and among those is sequel rights. Mm -hmm. And it, evidently unless you really have an enormous amount of clout in, in the movie business, you, you don't get sequel rights. Yeah. And we didn't, and we were primarily interested in directing, and so um, we really paid no attention to So Paramount really owns the rights to Airplane. Yeah. Okay. And they did offer us the chance to do it first, but we, we just declined. And right now you're doing another project called Police Squad, which we'll, uh, we're going to take a, a pause here for station identification and come back and discuss this one. Now. Thank you very much, and uh, welcome back to the show. We're still talking with uh, David and Jerry Zucker and also Jim Abrams. And uh, now I had brought up the topic of uh, Police uh, Squad. Yes. Tell us of the origin of this, uh, if you will. <laughs> police Squad is a, uh, it's a satire of all cop shows um, that is appearing now on ABC on Thursday nights, depending on the area of the country that we have done. And uh, it's a comedy. Comedy. Uh, yes. was this, did this have the same origin as uh, Airplane? No, yes, I... we were all sitting around watching Zero Hour, and we thought <laughs> <laughs> we each have a different story for this one. And, okay, you know, let's we... hear yours now. Well, my story is that, that we were in Deauville, France, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we were at the uh, film festival, and Airplane was being shown, and, and we were being interviewing, interviewed by an Austrian journalist. And at the time, we were in a competition among the three of us of who could get the, the biggest lie printed uh -huh. in, in any special newspaper. So we, we had just told the guy that the, the new sport in America was, uh, on the West Coast, was skeet surfing, where they, you would, you, the surfers <laughs> would go in and, and, shoot, and shoot skeet. On, on the, and they, you know, they were very anxious to hear about all that was new in yeah. America. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I don't know what this has to do with yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, Can you finish the story? Then that's the story, that's the story anyway, behind we thought because squad. we were lying to foreign journalists, we ought to do we a cop well show be, comedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> just, and, and that uh, seemed very logical. Now, th was there ever a show called Police Squad? Or there was one called no. Felony Squad, wasn't there? Was there was Felony Squad, and Vice there is, there's a movie now called Vice <laughs> yeah. Squad. There was mm -hmm. an old show called M Squad. M Squad, yes. Now, are the... Any relationship to the one you've done? You didn't buy up the rights to one of these? No, no. No. No, 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 no. It was cheaper not to buy the rights. Yeah, so. yeah. Is the, sh is the show? <laughs> if we can doing... get away with it. Yeah. I mean, it's, we'll see. It's doing pretty well, I would guess, right? Sure. Oh, yes. I hope so. Yeah. It's just started. So, <laughs> if everyone that watches this show watches Police Squad, that won't no. help. Yeah. It won't. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> but now, uh, perhaps we could. Um, Boy. Now, and we have a bit of film of this. This is uh, from Police Squad. Yes. And this is, not many people realize this, but there's somebody with us today who actually screen tested for Police Squad. <laughs> and, and, and didn't get the part. Let's show the clip. Yeah. Uh, okay, now what are we going to see here, in addition uh, to... Uh, I, this is where Leslie is uh, question. Leslie Nielsen is the star, and he's... He's questioning a witness to a robbery of a, of a credit union where two people were killed. And he comes in with Alan North, who plays his uh, immediate superior, and they're questioning Catherine Lee Scott. Okay. Everybody, in, everybody in the studio audience should uh, run home so you can see this on TV. Okay, this, and this was from the first episode, wasn't it? Yes, which okay, you can no longer go. see. Uh, <laughs> a look at the first episode of Police Squad. I'm Captain Frank Drebin. I understand you've had a pretty rough time. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Cigarette? 
Yes, I know. <laughs> you feel about doing any questions? I'll try. Where were you when all this happened? I was right here at my desk working. And when was the first time you noticed something was wrong? Well, when I first heard the shot, and as I turned, Jim fell. Uh, he's a teller, Frank. But uh, Jim Fell's a teller? No, Jim Johnson. Who's Jim Fell? Well, he's the auditor, Frank. He had the flu, so Jim filled in. Phil who? Uh, Phil did, and he's the night watchman. <laughs> oh, you feel that, didn't you? Oh, now, wait a minute, let me get this straight. <laughs> Twice came in and shot the teller and Jim Fell. No, he only shot the teller, Jim Johnson. Fell is ill. Okay, then after he shot the teller, you shot twice. No, I only shot once. The twice is the hold-up man. Then I guess I did shoot twice. Well, so now you're changing your story. No, I shot twice after Jim fell. You shot twice and Jim fell? No, Jim fell first, and then I shot twice once. <laughs> once. Now, he's the owner of the tire company, Frank. Okay. Now, once is the owner of the tire company, and he fired twice. Then twice shot the teller once. Twice. And Jim fell, and then you fired twice. Once. Okay. All right, that'll be all for now, Miss Decker. I really need you to make a formal statement down at the station. Oh, of course. You've been very helpful. We think we know how he did it. Oh, how he couldn't have done it. He hasn't been in for weeks. <laughs> Briefly, is there anything you gentlemen uh, would like to mention that you're working on, or is uh, you tied up with Police Squad now? Well, we're trying to start a small religious school at Yavana. <laughs> well, good luck to you, gentlemen. Thank you very much for being here, and thanks for bringing that rare footage of the screen test. The Zucker Brothers and Jim Abrams, ladies and gentlemen.